The battle droid army has been attempting an assault on the Death Valley for the past few days. Thousands of droids have perished and tanks have laid waste in the valley lands. They are getting nowhere. The clone troopers are putting up a tough defense. With AV cannons, ATTEs, TX 130s, as well as the Rebel Legion defending against the droids. Jedi Knight Bob is spearheading the defense, along with his clone trooper commander, Gregory. If they can survive the next wave, they might get reinforcements. If not, the valley will fall to the droids. A great defensive position laid waste. It is up to them. Welcome gamers, it's Daily Tactics, and today we have a huge invasion of the Death Valley here by the Battle Droid Army. As you can see, multiple attempts have been made at taking the valley, but all have been thwarted by the clone troopers. This is going to be the final and largest attempt by the droid army to take out the clones. We'll only be able to see if Jedi Bob can hold out against such high numbers. If you guys enjoy this video, hit the like button, subscribe with notifications on, and comment down below what other battles you'd like to see in the future. This one was recommended by a viewer, so thank you to Chaz135 for recommending it. Let's get right on into this thing. What's up gamers? I'm here to tell you about Instant Gaming. Instant Gaming is an amazing place where you can get some fire deals on all sorts of video games. Uh, seriously, it's like 60 to 95% off as you can see here. Uh, these are all of the Star Wars titles they have. They literally have every Star Wars title. Uh, you can also get XCOM here, Men of War Assault Squad 2, all of the games I play on the channel you can buy here for extremely cheap prices. If you use my affiliate link in the description, it helps me out a ton. So thank you guys for listening to this sponsorship and thank you to Instant Gaming for continuing to sponsor the channel. Alrighty then boys, pressing start right now. Of course we are starting in slow-mo because this is going to be a laggy one going forward. Already tons of explosions rocking the clone trooper army and the battle droid army. Dwarf spiders getting popped early on. Their weak armor is going to be at a disadvantage. The HMPs up top are getting hit pretty hard by clone trooper bazookas, but they're providing some good overhead cover fire against the clone trooper army, that's for sure. One of them goes down on the far left side. The other two are still hovering and firing away while the AATs begin to move forward. A number of droids getting caught in the crossfire in the back lines there. They've got bazookas and are firing out at the ATTE, which is taking some decent damage here. Hopefully, they can full on take it out in moments to come because if that thing stays alive, the droids are definitely in trouble. The MTT back here is unloading its uh, troopers right now, and so that will replenish uh, the lost droids at the start of the battle here, but that is going to be all the forces they end up having for the totality of this thing. The AV cannons have either been damaged, lost their crew members, or completely destroyed like this one here. Hopefully they got a number of kills before going down. Uh, it looks like another HMP crashing, two crashing simultaneously here. A bunch of them digging into the clone trooper lines below actually and killing a few extra right there. Holy smokes. ATTE is on fire, sirens going off here. Uh, the crew members are switching positions to the secondary guns, I believe, which are a bit more of an infantry killer than anything else. But it looks like this thing very well could go down early, early on. We do have some free roaming clone troopers on the battlefield who might be able to do a little something. Uh, and Jedi Bob, who is somewhere back here. I don't know where Jedi Bob went. Um, oh, here he is. He went to the front lines. He's free roaming as well with some other troopers uh, with him. So, you know, maybe he'll be able to do a little something, something uh, in the future. Either way, as for right now, the droids seem to be recollecting themselves. There's a glitch item right here, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, delete that real quick. Boom! Uh, because that can cause crashes. I must have accidentally placed uh, some sort of a unit with a uh, item that no longer exists in the mod at the moment. Wait, this HMP is still alive. It Apparently, it's hover whatever is damaged, and now it's just chilling on the ground there and one final bazooka shot 
blasts into the ATTE and ends up taking her down. That is going to be the end of that clone trooper tank and the end of the major defenses for the clones. The HMP seems to have repaired itself and is back up in the air firing at more clone trooper infantry to the right. The clones do have a number of TXs, two to be exact, as well as some bazooka troopers uh, throughout the battlefield, so they can still take out AATs and HMPs. They just need to be uh, really on top of those things. They need to really focus fire a lot of these heavier vehicles instead of the infantry. Take out the vehicles first and foremost, and then go for the infantry. That would be my strategy, because if the heavy infantry uh, lives, that's fine, but if the heavy vehicles live, uh, then you're really, really screwed. A bunch of droids seem to be coming up over these rocks here, trying to get an advantage point against the clone troopers, but they're getting gunned down pretty good. Bazooka fire coming through, luckily threads the needle past those bazooka troopers, and they're able to continue to fire into this HMP, which is now on fire. Its own sirens going off on the battlefield. Ooh, more bazooka shots, almost clipping these clone troopers right here. If one of those makes it, they're both dead for sure. Oh god, no! Ooh. Oh my goodness, they take her down. They finally managed to knock out that HMP and bring her down to Earth right there. That is actually very, very big for the clone troopers. I cannot overstate enough how needed that was for the clone trooper defenders to take that out. But now the droid infantry really starts to crawl up over these rocks here and starts to spray down some of those troopers that were defending over this way. And that is going to be the end of these guys. Hold on, can we get a closer look at these guys? Yes, we can. Yes, sir. These guys will be going down very, very soon as those droids uh, start firing at them. We've got some droids firing into the cactus troopers over here. It's almost like they're camouflaged with their green armor. This is actually a clone trooper legion I don't think I've ever used in a video before. It's kind of a fun one. It's called the clone rebel legion, but I don't think it's actually based on the rebellion. I believe uh, that this legion is based on uh, just... Uh, a cool name for a clone legion, the Rebel Legion, um, but they are, of course, for the Republic. Uh, it's just kind of a, a cool, interesting uh, custom mod for the Star Wars Galaxy at War mod that we're able to use in this thing, which I think is very, very fun. Uh, either way, the droids do continue to come up here. Now they're coming in with even greater force and coming up and over. This is going to be a problem. I mean, I don't see this going super well for the clones uh, in this immediate vicinity. Th that is a lot of droids coming forward. I mean, there are plenty of clones defending up on this hillside up here, uh, and they'll definitely be able to get some kills, but I think the amount of droids coming forward is going to be crazy. It looks super apocalyptic up here, by the way. This looks crazy. That is absolutely nuts. Actually, fire kind of quiets down a little bit. Just sort of some sporadic firing going right now as the droids seem to be trying to get a bit of a foothold here, which is not a bad idea. And in fact, rockets going out towards the TX over that way. That's a that's a good plan for the droids. Take that out before it can really do any damage. And that's three rockets hitting it all at once right there. This thing is definitely... Oh, it's on fire. That thing's going to go down very, very soon. That will be deadly. By the way, guys, I don't know if you saw this. Uh, I uploaded on Monday a Total War uh, campaign that I fixed for a subscriber. Very, very fun video for me to do. Complete... Oh, there she goes. Yeah, that thing is gone. Rip to that. That... <laughs> she just got destroyed big time. Holy cow. Uh, but yeah, not a video that I normally tend to upload, but I think it was actually one of my best videos I've done in a while. Um, it, it's about the Roman Civil War. We do some insane battles in it and uh, management and stuff like that to try and fix the campaign uh, in Rome Total War. It, and it's honestly so good. Uh, it, like, it's such a fun video, I, I must say. It's super long. Go check it out if you haven't already. It didn't perform super well, but that's kind of to be expected. I didn't expect big views on it because it's completely different from what I normally post on my channel. But don't worry. We're going to be going back to some good Star Wars Galaxy at War mod. We're going to be doing some more Gates of Hell Conquest soon. Uh, and I would very much so like to get back into some either Empire at War Air or XCOM 2 to come soon because I, I think that would be an absolute blast to do more of very very soon either way the rebel legion on the left side over here still holding very nicely these rockets from the droids they are just millimeters from clipping a ton of clones uh, but still no dice with them it, it is really actually quite tragic how they're able to miss by just that much 
All right, so I think we're going to try and bump it up a speed here and really get this thing going. As you guys know, if you've been watching the channel for a while, we do try and go in slow-mo for the start because it gets a little bit laggy going forward and, and can be a bit of a disaster, all things considered. But this, this is looking pretty good. I have actually a bunch of Star Wars battles that I've been wanting to do for a while that I think I'm finally going to start doing. Um, I have a little notepad where I write down fan suggestions and uh, I try and remember to write down who suggested it. Um, but yeah, Chaz re recommended this one and I've had it in my booklet for forever to do this and uh, finally was able to. Um, so I I'm super happy about that. That's really fun. Uh, I've got some other ideas that people have suggested that I want to do. So yeah, I think I think it'll be pretty exciting. I also have some of my own stuff that I've been wanting to do for a while that I think will be good. Uh, a big thing is arena battles. A lot of people have been recommending I do more arena battles uh, as we did recently. Um, the Clone Wars uh, arena battle and we also did the All Star Wars Armies arena battle. Oh, and we did the Army Men arena battle not long before that either. Uh, in Men of War Assault Squad 2, in that sort of like little diplex heated style arena that someone made on the workshop. So that, that was really fun set of videos we did and a, a lot of people seem to want me to do more of those. So I am more than happy to. I think that'll be really, really cool. One I was thinking about was doing like all hero units uh, arena battle or like heroes versus villains arena battle could be really cool too. Um, just, just a couple ideas I've had out there that, that could be fun. But we'll, we'll see. We'll just have to wait and see. Either way, the droids, uh, it really just seems to be a slugfest right now between the droids and the clones. Each side just trying to eliminate as many infantry units of the other side as possible. Um, the droids have the advantage of having all these different little pockets from which they can fire from. Like, there are a lot of avenues that the droids are starting to tick away at the clones from. Meanwhile, the clones, though, they do have the advantage. Wait, why are you shooting up here? Is there a droid up here? There was a droid up here. It's kind of hard to see because it's kind of a dark map, but right there, there's a dead droid. It's an ambiance map. That way you can really see the flames and the fire. Just looks cool. Uh, but the big disadvantage for the droids that the clones are going to be able to take advantage of is the fact that they are very concentrated in a lot of their different regions. So uh, the clones are able to just fire shots and basically guarantee that they get a hit or two against some droid. Oh. Oh, these droid rockets are finally starting to actually hit their marks here as time goes on. Jedi Bob is uh, way up front here. That might be a little bit of a mistake. Maybe you should back it up there, Tear, but I'm not going to tell him to do what whatever. He can do it himself. He's a big boy. Oh my god, that man just got absolutely nailed. Holy smokes, that is crazy. He just got absolutely gobbled up right there. My goodness. What is super nice for the droids though is that they do have this AAT still alive right here. This thing is continuing to fire out. I don't know how effective it's being, but I have seen it taking shots. I kind of thought more clones would be dead over here because of that, but I don't see any dead clones over here. So maybe it's not being all that effective on the battlefield right now. Um, in fact, these clones are doing very solid, uh, probably because they have this rock wall in front of them that I think is absorbing a lot of the droid shots. They've almost got like a little bit of a head glitch position. Oh, there it goes firing away. Yeah, I think that is a bit of a head glitch position. So it's going to be up to the droids on the right side, I think, to kind of get away with the uh, cheese in this battle a little bit more. But still plenty of droids left alive. There's another AAT here, here, and here. Uh, the droids just need to navigate basically this destructive field in order to get their AATs forward. That's the big problem, I will definitely say, uh, is that all of this is just blockading the clones in, creating a really nice defense point for them right here. By the way, shout out to those of you, there's a couple people in the comment section who are keeping track of every victory for the clones and droids throughout this year and that is so baller uh so massive shout out to y'all who are doing that that is super duper cool uh i love seeing that it's very fun to just be able to like check in and be like okay clones have won four droids have won three you know whatever uh the current standings are it is very fun to see that all right some more clones going down from explosions over this way uh, it seems like it, it is a grind fest here for the droids it, it's going to take a lot for them to get forward but they're 
they're eventually doing it now the problem is the clones do have troopers all the way back up to their ship right here as well as troops back here at the command center and a tx still so the clones need to make sure um they don't lose too many uh soldiers or sorry the droids need to make sure they don't lose too many soldiers here um in this slug fest because obviously they need enough to go and conquer the rest of the area why don't we go ahead and time lapse a little bit here because it is just sort of back and forth fire for now and we'll see if the droids manage to topple these clones or if they're just going to end up dying out here it could go either way Okay, so the slugfest continues. Uh, I think it's actually, I think these guys up here are free roaming clones. So I think they've been kind of waxing and waning up here. Retreating, coming back, retreating. And it's not a bad strategy. It's kind of like guerrilla warfare. Hit and run strategy, baby. Uh, so that's pretty nice to see. Uh, the droids definitely struggling a little bit right now with clearing out these clones. But really, this is the toughest section of the battle. If they can clear this out, uh, getting through here won't be too tough because grenade warfare is going to come into play majorly. Oh, looks like we actually have a few clone pilots down here, which is kind of fun. Um, another cool thing about the Rebel Legion is there are... Uh, there, first of all, there's a big variety of clones, but there are Clone Republic officers. I'm looking for one right now, but I'm not seeing one. But we do have, like, Riot Shield clones, which are pretty cool. Standard clone troopers right there. Heavy clone trooper... Um, oh, over here we've got the recon clone. Oh, there's an officer. Yeah, officer clone, um, pilot clone. We've got... I don't know, there's a bunch. It's really pretty cool, actually. I really love the variety. Oh, ARF trooper clone. Yeah, it's nice. It's, it's more variety than most clone legions in the standard Star Wars Galaxy at War mod. Uh, which I think is kind of nice. All right, so the droids are pushing further and further upwards here, uh, getting better cover as they go too. I would say they've definitely got a maybe 100 or so troopers left alive. They started with about 400, um, so losses have been great, but um, you know, clones also probably down to like half their force, maybe even a little less than half of their force left alive. So pretty big, big differences from the start to now uh, going forward here. Let's do another time lapse because uh, the droids are definitely still in this slugfest sort of mode. All right, well, that was about a three minute time lapse right there for reference. Uh, droids, I mean, they still have a solid force. They're pushing forward a little bit. I kind of thought these guys might be in grenade range, but they're really not grenading up this way. I mean, there's only a few clones left alive there. I'd almost say ignore them and just hug this wall and go for the clones this way. Um, but that doesn't seem to be happening right now for the droids. Actually, we can bump it up to normal speed now. We were in semi-slow mode there. It's uh, it's just slightly slower than normal speed. Uh, so we can really get things going, baby. Ooh, rocket shots going down this way. That's nice to see. These clones finally getting involved a little bit more. How many kills do they have? This guy's got three. Pilot's got none. This guy's got none. Uh, this guy's got none. This guy's got none. This guy's got none. This guy's got one. This guy's got none. 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 Okay, roger that. How about these guys? This guy's got none. This guy's got one. This guy's got seven, nice. This guy's got six, and this guy's got one, and this guy's got one as well. All right, I think most of the hard hitter clone troopers are are dead. <laughs> I'll be honest. I think we are left with sort of the scraps at this point in time. Uh, these droids, I think, might actually be stuck by the HMP, so I'll go ahead and release them from their prison. Uh, are these guys also stuck due to these... Tanks. I'll move this. Yeah, hopefully that'll actually get the droids moving a little bit more. I, I think they might have just been stuck there, and that's why they weren't really coming forward all that much. And it looks like they are going to start to fire down this little tent valley here, the barracks of the clone troopers, where they've been spending their time under siege after all of these months. I'm sure they're happy that maybe their siege will be uh, lifted fairly soon if they manage to defeat these droids, get their reinforcements in, and then they get to go back to the back lines for a little bit of R&R. This got hit by something, I think. That's kind of weird. Um, and these cl Dude, how are these guys still alive? There we go. Well, one of them died right there. That's what we like to see. A little bit of death on a Sunday afternoon here. Uh, although I'm recording this the day of when it's gonna release so it's tuesday <laughs> it's just tuesday my dudes it's just tuesday it is what it is it is what it is 
I mean, these guys are such a non-problem. Just push for these guys, man. Actually, they are kind of. A few of these clone troopers are starting to go down from some of this battle droid army fire here. It's good to see. Keep it up. These guys must be out of range because they're not really firing. But then again, this guy is firing back here, so I'm not entirely sure. Oh, oi, don't shoot their transport ship, my guy. What the heck? You're going to ruin their ride out of here. <laughs> Pilot's going to be pissed if his stuff gets scuffed. If you jank up his stuff, his shties, he's not going to be happy about that, my guy. Oh, my God. The amount of rocket troopers I gave the droids might have been a little ungodly. That... <laughs> It, there are, have been a lot of rockets. Either I gave them too many rocket troopers, or they have just managed to stay alive during the entirety of this battle, which I, I, maybe I wouldn't put it past them, you know? That could be fairly impressive. Uh, it's pretty, pretty good stuff. Oh, wait. Of course I move right when the one rocket that actually hits them lands. That's crazy. And that seems to silence a lot of the haters right there. Um... There's still a solid number of droids. There's even, of course, the MTT, which is completely stuck back there. So we might as well evac the troopers from there. I won't evac the troopers out of the AATs because they're still providing, like, a little bit of cover fire. I'm actually surprised by how many are still alive. Um, none of them have crazy kills. I saw, like, seven, four, stuff like that. Actually, some more rockets going into the clones back that way and getting some big kills. The rocket troopers... Every once in a while, they just find their stride, and they start hitting shots and absolutely destroying the clone troopers. It's pretty crazy. <laughs> All right, the droids are moving and grooving now. Oh, there's a little platform they can get up here, and they've tried, but these clones up here have stopped them from really getting up there big time. Uh, but now they're definitely going to be going down. There's a lot of droid fire coming in here. Whew, it, this is a toughie. This is a tough little battle. I mean, you have to remember... We've still got all these clones back here. How did you die? Like, actually. Oh, it looks like an explosion rocked here. So maybe he got hit by that? I don't know. <laughs> that's kind of a weird place to die from. I'm not going to lie, my guy. That That's kind of sad. Uh, but, yeah, there's more clones way back there that can potentially hold out the command center if these clone troopers over here end up going down. And it looks like these clones over here are going to end up going down because they are getting absolutely hailstormed by incoming battle droid army fire right now. It is not looking too bueno at the moment. I'm just shocked that these guys are still kicking it. That is crazy to me. Are any droids really dying here, though? Let's see. Yellow are dead droids. Red are dead clones. It looks like, yes, some droids are dying in their push up this way. Uh, not nearly as many as the clones are, though. I, I kind of thought these clones would hold a little bit better than this, but they're, they're really not. Yeah, no, not at all. Of course, the amount of droids that died way back here is astronomical. <laughs> It's pretty crazy. Um, lots of clones died up here. We've got the one random dead guy way back here, which is kind of funny still. Uh, and these droids continue to push forward as they eliminate the last of the clones over this way, just little by little. And then I guess they'll gear their attack towards the command station after this is what's going to happen. Yeah, they're just pushing. This is a bit of a, a bit of a slug fest right now. Why don't we time lapse it? Okay, well, it took forever for the droids to kill, like, two clones right there. Uh, I don't think they really took any losses, though. Oh, no, they did take some losses. Um, so their units are seriously depleted at this point. Why don't we go in fast motion for a little bit here? I'm curious as to where they're going to go. If they're going to go this way or this way. Uh, still clones left alive up here. Honestly, all these clones have to do is grenade down this way, and they stop this entire battle in its tracks. That would be the real baller move. I kind of don't think they're going to go ahead with it. And, uh, yeah, not going to be great. But, all right, the droids do push forward over here. Start engaging with some of the clone troopers uh, on the main part of the base over this way. Um, that's definitely a bit of a doozy. Oh, I heard an explosion somewhere. I'm not entirely sure what that was. But, yeah, these droids, uh, they have another choke point to deal with here. They got a couple kills, but I think they're going to take the L. I really, I think this is it. It's Jover for him. There's no coming Barack from this one, man. They got trumped. <laughs> yeah, they tried playing like bush campers, but they they couldn't quite uh, ex ex escape the gore. Hey. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm out of presidents. 
<laughs> How many kills does this guy have? Nine! That's pretty impressive. And he's dead. Wow. Very cool. Uh, and also, the AATs all seem to have been stuck in the debris field over this way, so I don't think they're coming forward. Um, honestly, let's evac all of the AAT troops now. Uh, they're all armored crew soldiers, actually, which is kind of fun. I used the armored crew skins, so that's cool. A little accuracy for you. Um, we'll go ahead and evac all these dudes. Get out here. Go, 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 my friends. Um, and then we'll go ahead and just launch the attack with all the tank crewmen uh, against the base here. We'll give the droids one final hoorah! And one last attempt at a W here. They've even got some rocket troopers they could get kills with, so it's possible. The TX-130 starts to spam into them a good bit. The droids being able to fire up at the clones over that way too. But there's a clone firing squad over there. They get hit by massive explosions. Here's some of those rocket troopers. They're getting shots into this thing. Uh, one goes down. They do get the kill on the TX though. That's kind of crazy that they managed that. Uh, but now it's just a number of uh, clones left alive. How did these droids get over here? That's strange. Wait, they drew an 818? How did you get this past this mountain range? And then topple it over? I don't know, but those droids are now on the other side of the mountain, so good for them. Yeah, did Jedi Bob go down, by the way? I... Yeah, he did. He's dead over here. He's in, like, a weird stasis. <laughs> Alright, there's, like, six droids left. Let's full yeet, full send them in against the clones here. They, they're taking the L. The droids do take the L during this thing. I mean, they, they did do a bang up job. Yellow are dead droids, red are dead clones. Clones suffered horrendous losses, but managed to hold out until the bitter end in a, in a very ex just exemplary show of force. That was beautiful. Either way, guys, thank you so much for watching. That's going to be about it for today's video. Be sure to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and comment down below. I'll see you on the next one. Peace. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Be sure to click that subscribe button for more content and hit the notification bell if you'd like to be alerted to whenever I live stream or upload. Thanks so much.